Hey viewers, it's been a while since I've done a video where I've been servicing some uh, shocks. I've got this bike here, it's got some Rock Shocks Quadra 21R shocks on it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them apart, clean them, lube them, put it back together and show you the whole process of doing that. I'm going to start off by uh, removing the front wheel. Just release the brake here, got the skewer, this and that. Pull the wheel off, there we go. Next I need to remove these brakes so that I can lower the uh, lowers here. Um, the uh, cable kind of goes through here and through, through this uh, little cable stop here. So I got to uh, remove the cable here and let it slide through. So I'm just going to loosen this here. And I may replace this cable anyway because it's an old cable. And pull this through here. I pull this cable here like that. And then I'm going to remove these brakes here, just get them out of the way. It's just a hex bolt here. Hold them on. Next I want to remove these caps here and I pull out the stacks out of there. And I'm going to use, it's a, uh, a 22 millimeter socket here and six point. I want to use a six point because these are plastic and I'm worried that if I use a 12 point, it might just kind of round those off. So I like using a uh, six point socket here. Again, it's 22 millimeter. And so I can go ahead and just loosen these. And usually once I get them loosened, then they'll turn out pretty smoothly. Not always. And and the stack all comes out nice and cleanly there. And I'll do this one here. And there we go, that one, that one came all out nice and cleanly. Now way down deep in here, inside here, is there's a five millimeter hex bolt down in here on each side, which I need to uh, loosen so, and remove so that I can go ahead and drop these lowers down. And it's kind of, you have to go down through a hole in there, reach down and then hit that bolt. So I have a, a long uh, hex uh, socket here. And then I also have an extension here. This is like a 3 8 inch drive uh, socket here. And I've got like a 3 8 inch extension here. And then my 3 8 inch uh, ratchet wrench. So first I'm just going to manually just kind of work this down in there, down through the hole and then kind of getting it engaged with the uh, hex bolt down there. And once I get that in done, then I can use my ratchet wrench here to loosen this thing down in here. And it's, it's loosening. It's pretty tight down in there, but it's loosening. Okay, so I think I got that one loosened, and so now I want to do the other side here. And get this one broken loose. Okay, so I think I have those both loosened, and if that's the case, I should be able to pull this down like that. And so I've got those off there like that. And then I can pull these little rubber boots off of here like this. Now they're still bushing down on this one here. So I'm just going to pull this off. And it looks like there was like a little O-ring kind of holding that on there. So uh, I'll put this aside here. And the one that was on this side kind of came down. It's still down in the lowers. And then I want to get these parts out of here. So I'm just going to like use a uh, long T Allen wrench, but it doesn't matter. It's just something that I can push these up and out. So there's basically like a little plunger. There's a little plastic part that kind of snaps right on the top there like that. Get this one up and out of here like this. Okay, now I want to try to fish the other bushing out of the uh, lower here. It uh, da, 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 down in down in this tube right here, I believe. So I got a little bit of uh, wire hanger with a little bend in the end. 
if I can go ahead and get this down in through the bushing in there, push it down, hopefully I can pull it back out. Okay, so I got that bushing out and there should still be an O-ring down in there. So, and then got the O-ring out. Now that I have all the parts removed, I'm going to use a uh, degreaser to go ahead and clean these all up. Uh, I'm just going to use like some uh, awesome orange stuff that I got from the dollar store. Nice citrus degreaser. Uh, you want to be uh, careful what you use on the elastomers here. Use something uh, relatively gentle. Even use uh, just wa water and maybe dish soap or something to clean those up. Um, but anyway, go ahead and clean these up and I'll get ready to put it all back together. And then I also want to clean these uppers here as well. Kind of get them all cleaned up as, as well. And I can clean out the inside here by twisting up a rag and kind of working it down in there and kind of clean out some of the grease and dirt that's on the inside of these tubes as well. Well, I'm ready to start putting this thing back together here. And uh, as I put it back together, I want to grease up all the parts. I'm going to use a slick oleum. You can also use Judy butter or SRAM butter. Uh, SRAM butter is basically uh, slick oleum anyway. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to start with these little plunger parts here. So I'm just going to coat them with grease and around on here and get them all, all the surfaces kind of coated here on the springs and on these little uh, plastic parts up here. And then I'm going to drop this down inside the tube here. Same way on the other one here. Just get like nice coating of grease around on here and on the spring and on the plastic part here. And then drop it down on the other side here. And kind of help it down like that. Next I want to install these bushings on the bottom here, on these bolts here. Um, there's a flat side and then there's a, like an opening side and this little open side here is the bottom and that's where the o-ring goes and so what I want to do is put this on here like but these bolts are kind of loose so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this uh, hex wrench that I uh, use to loosen those bolts I'm going to slide it down through the top kind of engage the bolt and that'll kind of hold the bolt down so that I can push up the uh, little o-ring there so I'm gonna slide this up here like this slide the o-ring on here and then hold it from above so that I can push that o-ring up and that'll kind of hold that bushing up there like that and then do the same thing on the other side here move the little allen wrench over here so got that and again the little open side here goes facing down so I'll get the O-ring kind of started there, then hold down on the wrench so that I can push up on the bolt. And that goes up there like that. Then I want to put a little bit of a thread locker blue on the threads of these uh, screws here. And so that will help uh, them to keep from them uh, from coming unscrewed inside the fork like that. Now before you put the lowers on, you want to remember to put the boots on there. That's uh, kind of, it gets kind of rough when you put everything together and you realize, oh, I forgot to put the boots on there. So I'm going to slide the boots up into place like this. Like that. And then go ahead and Put some uh, of the slick oleum grease around on these here. Probably put a little bit more on there than I really need, but that's okay. You wipe off extra later on. I'll put maybe down a little bit around these parts down here. Now inside the lowers here, there's a couple uh, little bushings around in here, and I want to put some grease on those. So there's one right here, and then there's one just a little ways down here, about right there. So, I can just uh, put some on the lower there, just kind of put my finger down in there, kind of squeeze around, and then a real little bit around on that one there. And same thing on the other side, put some on the lower one there, around, and then a little bit on the upper like that. Okay, now I'm ready to install the lowers here. I want to make sure that the, uh, the cable stop here, the brakes, is facing front. So I'm going to slide this on like this, and these might get pushed up a little bit, so I'm just going to kind of be 
careful, kind of get these up in here, get the lowers started onto the uppers a little bit. There, like that. And I can kind of get this worked up here. And then I can use my uh, wrench here, which, and then I can get that uh, screw started down in there. I can feel it already kind of starting to screw in a little bit. And getting that tightened in pretty well. And then go to the other side and get it starting to turn in there. And then tighten it in pretty well. And pull that out. Next I want to install these uh, stacks down in there. If the elastomers are uh, worn out, because these actually kind of like just kind of snap apart here, like there's a little plastic parts kind of holding these th things together. But if the elastomers are worn out, you can buy replacements. And there's also a company that actually uh, sells like springs that replace the elastomers in here. But these elastomers seem like they're in pretty good shape. And I had bounce on the fork, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep using these. But what I do is I want to coat these with some slicoleum in here, just get a nice coating of slick oleum on these before I put them in. Because that'll help keep them uh, nice and supple in there and allow them to slide around so they don't get, and they won't get dried out. And then I can just drop these down in here like this and put the slick oleum on these as well. These were like completely dry in there. I mean these things will actually dry out and crack and then they're like just no good anymore. And then slide this down in there like that. And I could start these in by hand. And be careful, these are plastic so you want to be careful not to cross thread them or damage them because they're, they're plastic and they'll get damaged pretty easily. And then I can use my my wrench here. And then be careful, don't over tighten these because again they're, they're just plastic and you can strip those threads out really easily or break apart. And then you're toast. Because you can't really replace these parts. Not easily. And then tighten this down gently like that. Now you want to get these boots here seated over the tops of the lowers. And it's just kind of like kind of careful. Don't tear the rubber part here. And just kind of work it around. You might use just a kind of a screwdriver to kind of get it worked down over that and do that on both of the boots. And get it slid down over there like that. And I'm all done. I reinstalled the brakes and the front wheel and the shocks are working nice and cleanly. And so that is how to disassemble, clean, lube, and reassemble RockShox Quadra 21Rs and just generally service them, which I believe RockShox recommends about every uh, 25 hours of use on them, though I don't think most people would do that. But anyway, I hope you found this useful or interesting. If you did, please click like on my video. I always appreciate getting likes on my videos. Um, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, click the big subscribe button. You'll see new videos as they come out. And I'm also over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like my page. I post a lot of stuff over there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.